हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे सेकंड ऑफ मे लीड कोर्ट चैलेंज एंड टेस्ट क्वेश्चन इज कोर्स शेड्यूल थ्री सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द सोल्यूशन एंड द प्रॉब्लम बाय द प्रेजेंटेशन दैट हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर दिस एज यूजुअल एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दैट एंड लेट मी जस्ट स्टार्ट द स्लाइड शो लेट मी जस्ट टेक अ पेन कोर्स शेड्यूल थ्री लीड कोर्ट सिक्स एंड द क्वेश्चन सेज वी आर गिविन एन आर ए ऑफ कोर्सेज वेर ईच कोर्स हैज टू एट्रीब्यूट एसोसिएटेड विद इट the first one is the duration of that course and the second one is the deadline time stamp the time by which this course should be completed otherwise you can't take up this course what we need to do in this question we need to return the maximum number of courses that can be completed out of those array the list of courses that were given to us so there are two obvious things that we are going to do the first thing is we'll sort the courses based on their deadline time stamp so that we can prioritize the course which has a lower deadline time stamp first than the one which has a higher deadline time stamp for example uh, let's assume that the course has a duration 10 and its deadline time stamp is 100 and there is another course that has a duration of 20 which has a deadline time stamp as 80 so which one are you going to prioritize first this one because this has a lower deadline time stamp over this one which has higher value so that's quite obvious we'll be prioritizing the ones which has lower deadline time stamps first and uh, the second thing that i'm going to ask you guys is let's assume that these are the four courses that i have already selected and these are the durations that are specified here the duration of the first course selected is 10 40 30 and 20 and there comes up two new courses let's assume with the duration the first one is with the duration 70 would you like to replace any of these existing four courses with 70 the answer is no because the duration of this course is higher than the maximum or the highest duration across the complete selected courses however if there comes another course which has a lower duration let's assume 5 you would definitely like to replace this also by which value the one which has the maximum duration out of the selected courses so we'll replace this 40 the course with duration 40 with the new one that of 5 so these two were the hints that are also specified in the question i would recommend you guys to go through those hints and just try to uh, draw connections and take pointers from it uh, today instead of moving towards uh, the iteration of one of the test case we will uh, write the code first because we will be using these two information to build our algorithm and then i'll move on to the test case iteration so moving on to the coding part the first thing that i'm going to do is to sort this array on the basis of deadline time stamp so courses i'll pass in courses here and i'll write a comparator a comma b and i'll be using the deadline time stamp to sort the courses the minimum one will should come first so a of 1 minus p of 1 because the first index highlights the deadline time stamp and after that let's define a priority queue of type integer and it will store the course duration of the courses that we have selected so far and let's just name it pq new priority queue type integer and this time Uh, we will write the comparator such that the course with the maximum duration is retrieved first so let's write it up b minus a so this is a max heap and the course with that which has a maximum duration out of the selected ones will be pulled out first as talked about in the step 2 whenever we want to make some choice and let's define an integer time elapsed equals to 
and let's start the iteration over courses and if let's just check whether time elapsed plus let's assume we are currently acknowledging the current course into consideration and it happens to be less than equal to course of the, its deadline timestamp i have added the current time elapsed so far to the current duration of the course and if it happens to be less than equal to the deadline timestamp that means we are good to select this course so i'll add it in my priority queue so this course is uh, good to be selected and i have added it in the priority queue and i'll update the timestamp time elapsed with the value of the course duration which makes perfect sense because i have i want to add the scores or select the scores so i have to increase the time elapsed to the current duration of the course otherwise let's check whether the priority queue is non empty if it happens to be non empty and out of all the courses that we have selected so far the one with the maximum value the maximum duration happens to be greater than the current course pq dot peak happens to be greater than the current course that means we can improvise the total time elapsed because we selected a course in the past which has a higher duration than the current course duration that means we can do some replacement that will reduce the overall time elapsed so what am i going to do uh, i'll simply remove the topmost element from the priority queue and i'll reduce the time elapsed correspondingly and i'll add this course in my priority queue so pq dot offer course of 0 and i'll update the time elapsed by the same duration the course duration because we found a better contender here then the ones that we already selected in the past otherwise if my pq dot peak happens to be of lower value than the current course that means the current course duration is greater than the topmost element or the maximum duration course that i have selected in the past i have to simply reject it reject the current course and in the end uh, the size of the priority queue will give us the courses that we can do so we will simply return priority queue dot size so this gives us the number of courses that we can actually select out of the given courses let's try this up and then i'll walk you through the uh, test case that was given in the question looks good and let me just submit it accepted uh, let's talk about the time complexity first the time complexity of this approach is order of n log n because the because you're sorting the array in order of n log n you're iterating over all the courses using a priority queue so you you were asking for the topmost element the pole element or the peak element and internally it takes uh, the time complexity of n log n so the overall time complexity becomes n log n and let's just walk through the input test case using this algorithm so let me just copy paste it here and the first thing that we are going to do is to sort the courses on the basis of duration and what will we get 100 comma 200 followed by 1000 comma 1250 then we'll have 200 comma 1300 and the last one would be 2000 comma 3200 so you can see that all these courses are sorted on the basis of the deadline time stamp 200 1250 1300 3200 and let's start the iteration uh, let's initialize the time elapsed variable to 0 and let's pull out the first 
scores uh, from the list and we'll get this one and the duration of this course is 100 so time elapsed plus 100 is less than 200 which satisfies the first condition so we'll add it in the priority queue so priority queue gets the first course as 100 and time elapsed get, gets increased to 200 because we have added 0 plus 100 to time elapsed and let's walk through the next iteration uh, the next course is uh, of duration 1000 and the deadline time stamp is 1250 so 100 plus 1000 is 1100 is less than the duration time stamp which is 1250 so that also makes it a good contender uh, for the selection and we'll add it in the priority queue we'll update the time elapsed by the duration that will give us 1100 value and this becomes 1100 now uh, this also makes the first condition satisfied and let's walk through to the next test case now we have the course duration as 200 and the deadline time is 1300 so if i'll add 1100 plus 200 that gives us 1300 1300 is less than or equal to 1300 this condition is satisfied so we'll add 1300 to it and the time will also comes 1300 so let's just remove this and in the priority queue we'll add 200 and let's walk through the next iteration and this time we have a course that has a duration of 2000 and uh, the deadline time stamp is 3200 so let's walk through the first condition time elapsed is 1300 plus 2000 is 3300 is less than equal to course duration of 1 it's not the case because 3300 is not less than 3200 less than equal to 3200 so this condition is not satisfied and uh, let's check for the other condition the topmost element of the priority queue the one with the maximum duration is 1000 is it greater than the current value current duration of the course it's 2000 it's not the case that means this condition is also not satisfied so that means we have to simply reject this course so this course gets rejected because it's not a better contender than all of, of all the courses that are there in the priority queue and we'll simply reject this course because 1000 is less than 2000 and in the end what is the size of the priority queue the size of the priority queue is 3 which is our answer i hope uh, this test case uh, helped you in understanding the algorithm and thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it the space complexity of this approach would be order of uh, n because you are using a priority queue of that can attain a maximum size of as many courses as are there in the uh, course list thanks for watching the video